Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookram here. Another load of magazines. This time, Strength and Strength and Health have arrived uh, to my place. That's a What's in the Mail today. Strength and Health vintage magazines covering the period of the Silver Era all the way to the Golden Era of bodybuilding. That's right, from 1930 all the way up to the 1980s, over 50 years of history. And I'll quickly th uh, show you firstly Strength Magazine, which, which, which was originally, this is a, from 1930 by the way, originally um, Alan Calvert's publication. And there are some excellent articles in here. Um, it's amazing that these, um, oh actually it's from 1927, so we're talking about almost 60 years of, of um, magazines here. It's fantastic. And um, there's some really awesome articles in here. Uh, I think there's one on George Hackenschmidt, if I can only find it. Here's some fantastic uh, articles. Always some... I love these old strongman articles. Oh, wow, the evolution of the barbell. I mean, wow, <laughs> excuse my excitement. But you can really see this is a great, great, great article. The evolution of the barbell. I've got to read that. That's fantastic. That's a that's a video in itself. I mean, these these are just brilliant. And um, I can only find that Hackenschmidt article. But nevertheless, nevertheless, it's uh, a great. These are great reads. Always, I love them. I love these old, really, really old books. 1927. Um, of course, Strength and Health then, sorry, Strength and Health then um, took over the Strength magazine. It's actually, um, of course, Bob Hoffman who took over the magazine of Strength and made it into Strength and Health or renamed it Strength and Health. And um, here's one of the earliest editions here. We have this one from 1934. Sorry, not 1937, my mistake. And... Um, Back then, as you can see, it wasn't about muscles. It was all about strength and health, right? About fitness, how to be happy, uh, though married, is exercise necessary? So, and it's covering health and fitness, um, more more than just the physical fitness, the mental fitness, emotional fitness, psychological fitness, all these different things, how to end headaches, etc. We've got some, of course, some brilliant articles. This looks like the story of Hercules. Wow. Hercules, the greatest hero of strength. I mean, these these articles are just phenomenal. I love this stuff. Just looking at all this history, it's just beautiful. I love it. I love it. Muscle control. You can just imagine all the great stuff that I'm going to find in these uh, magazines. Here's another one. Another great uh, cover from 1937. The first one was January. This one's February. Tony Sansoni. A beautiful, beautiful shot of John Grimmick in his early days. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, what can I say? This stuff is beautiful. We've got strength and health now from the 1940s. Some more great articles. I can just imagine. So I'm not going to flick through every single one. I'm just going to go down through the covers. We have Jack Dilling on the cover of September. Um, I believe this is also 1947 or 1948, one of the two, um, or even 49, I'm not quite sure. Here we have Pepper Gomez, Strength and Health, November, February 1949, so that was, I think, 1947 or 48. Here we have someone you probably are not aware of, Mr. France of 1948, Robert Duranton, and I've got his early courses, actually, in, in German. He was like the Steve Reeves of Europe. Now, here's a beautiful cover of George Eiferman from November 1950. Beautiful. This, uh, this alone deserves to be framed or a poster being made out of. These covers are just artworks in themselves. We jump all the way now to 1960. And in the 60s, of course, you know, it's all about Muscle Beach and uh, strong, healthy bodies. Fantastic. Strength and health mag. Here we have, of course, Jim... Hazelop, he was considered the new Reeves back in the day with fantastic, handsome looks and shapely physique. Jim Hazelop, May 1966. Here we have Gabe Bordreau, who used to uh, train at, um, uh, I think, with uh, Irvin Johnson or Rio Blair, as he was called later. June 1966, very aesthetic physique he had. November 1967, featuring Mike Dayton. Fantastic arms, beautiful uh, mantis pose there. 
reminiscent of Arnold. Uh, we have, again, Jim Hayslop looking phenomenal, beautifully aesthetic. What a phenomenal physique. Let me know. Just, just enjoy that. I mean, that's just beautiful. Jim Hayslop, July 1968. This one's October 1968. This one, unfortunately, was a bit tattered. And finally, we end up in the 1970s. Uh, that's uh, Vasiliev, I believe, and Mr. America. And finally, the 1980s. And this was the final edition, as you can read there, from May 1986. So a total of 60 years from 1927 all the way up to May of 1986 of Strength Magazine and Strength and Health to add to my collection with some phenomenal articles. No doubt I will be covering these magazines and their articles in the future. I'm still going through all of my Waiter Mags and I've only just reached the 50s. So you can just imagine the plethora of information that I have still to present on this channel. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me your comments and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my continual research and acquisition of knowledge, of this information from the bronze, silver, and golden era of bodybuilding, please donate via PayPal. Every little bit helps, and I can continue to complete my collections. I'm almost done completing Strength and Health, and now I'm really looking to start the collection of everything pre-1930 to the time of Eugene Sandow, which is, first of all, very rare to achieve, uh, to, sorry, to, to, to find, it's very rare to, to source, and it's also very, very expensive. It does cost me quite a lot of money to, to get all this information. But that's what I do, right? So uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily complaining, but I'm just saying that it, um, it's very hard to find. Um, if you'd like to uh, continue my, uh, supporting me, please donate via PayPal or you can become a patron. Uh, I'm getting new patrons. Thank you very much to those new patrons. I really um, acknowledge and, and thank you for your support. You can also go to my website, www.goldenerabookham.com for out of print courses and books. I'm always trying to write new books and trying to write some new ones right now on Reg Park. Um, yeah, and um, of course, you can always email me to pass on your mags or your books uh, from your collection so I can continue to add to my collection and bring you more knowledge and information from these golden years of health, fitness, and bodybuilding. Hope you've enjoyed this video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.